lot of learning, not just about how to survive in this environment, but they bring their culture in with everything they do and making sure that our operations up here aren't just going to achieve the training objectives, but are going to be sustainable and bring proper respect to the environment. Le troisième groupe de patrouille de Rangers canadiens a récemment accompli l'exercice Mobile Ranger dans tout le nord ontarien, y compris dans les environs de la baie d'Hudson, de la baie James et dans des régions intérieures de la province. Les Rangers ont mis à laisser leurs compétences de survie et leurs capacités opérationnelles dans des endroits éloignés où il fait très froid. Mobile Ranger is a exercise designed to uh, enhance the uh, winter capability of the Canadian Rangers uh, from all across Northern Ontario. Uh, the majority of the patrols are actually participating in this exercise, uh, as well as uh, members of the Canadian Brigade Groups, Mechanized Brigade Groups, and the uh, Division Training Centre. We have personnel uh, that are Rangers, as well as Junior Canadian Rangers participating in the activities. We will be focusing on survival activities and uh, just living in the cold environment. Because of the low temperatures, negative 35 degrees some days, we had to collect a large amount of firewood. Part of the daily routine was for a group of rangers to look for firewood, fell dry trees, cut it up, transport it, and chop it into smaller pieces at the camp. I had also done a lot of behind the scenes tasks before, during, and after this exercise which greatly improved my skills in being a logistical support to some degree. I like the fact that we had many participants at the Moose Factory location. We had around 45 people at the lodge at one point. We usually don't have this many rangers at one location during regular training events. It was nice seeing rangers from other patrols as well. We also had Reg Force soldiers. We called them green soldiers from down south. This was a unique opportunity to interact with people that we never get a chance to, to learn from them and to teach them the way of the North. We spent a few days, three days, doing culminative training to our final training exercise where we were left in the wilderness for 24 hours. Those three days consisted of how to get food, so ice fishing and bushcraft skills and just general knowledge of the land. And uh, so we, on our final FTX, we were divided into teams, dropped off on an island and we had to survive the night with for 24 hours and in that process we had to build an improvised shelter using our natural resources around us and some general tools allot it and then we had in our survival kit and with that you could build multitude of shelters from a lodge to a lean-to to something very basic and you wanted to use the natural elements of the land to your best ability Working with the Canadian Rangers has been an amazing experience in learning to about interoperability with different organizations. There, there's subject matter experts for not just doing search and rescue operations, but on the land that we're operating in, uh, especially up here in the north. When it comes to ground search and rescue in the north, the Rangers are the people in the community that have vested interest in saving uh, some of their community members or other personnel. Over the last year, we have participated in approximately 34 searches, uh, resulting in 44 lives saved.